ever wondered what's Warren Buffett's stand against Bitcoin? Spoiler alert, he's not a fan. Imagine that Bitcoin is throwing a wild and massive party and Warren is just, well, the grumpy old neighbor who doesn't want the fun and wants the kids to be in bed by 10. Warren Buffett has thrown some really serious shade around Bitcoin. He even called it rat poison and gambling token. This makes it even more scandalous than your favorite Netflix series. Welcome to Financial Literacy. Here, we are dedicated and passionate about bringing you nothing but honest and straightforward facts about your money. We will help you take control of your finances and get you to the next level. Beginners or experienced, this is your one-stop shop for all things financial literacy. Today, we are going to talk about Warren Buffett's stand against Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Why does Warren Buffett despise Bitcoin? What's his perspective on this? If you're ready to know all of this, then let's start the video. Who doesn't love a good financial drama? Presenting the unusual team of Bitcoin, the mysterious digital money, and seasoned investor Warren Buffett. Their complicated relationship, which is driven by curiosity and distrust, develops with the suspense of a skillfully written story. Intrigued? You should be. This isn't just about money. It's a clash of ideologies, generations, and beliefs. So much more than your typical love story. Calling Bitcoin rat poisonous squared is a pretty serious hate if you ask me. And just when we believed Buffett and Bitcoin's drama was finished, something unexpected happened. A $500 million investment by Buffett at the crypto-friendly Brazilian bank Nubank drew his attention. Everyone is baffled by this decision, which is veiled in mystery. The irony is huge. The person who previously called Bitcoin Rad Poison Squared is now indirectly involved in the cryptocurrency through Nubank. Is this a planned risk? a deliberate strategic maneuver, or a total 180-degree turnabout. The story becomes more complex. But this isn't a soap opera. Even though this love-hate relationship is intriguing, it also tells us a crucial tale about Buffett's evolving viewpoints over time. It is clearly evident that our leader is playing a double game. People from popular condemnation to calculated investment. Are we heading toward a plot twist where Buffett reveals his undying love for Bitcoin? Or is this just a clever ploy to teach us all a valuable lesson about the capricious nature of investments? Stay tuned, or better yet, stay invested. Because as we all know, in the world of Bitcoin, change is the only constant. And trust us, you won't want to miss the drama. Now, let's go back in time a bit and dive deeper as to why our very own Warren Buffett disliked Bitcoin. Understanding Buffett's dislike for Bitcoin is like attempting to comprehend why cats have an odd hatred for cucumbers. Some of his remarks have been rather informative, such as when he said that Bitcoin was rat poison squared. Buffett's statement suggests that he either has a strong distaste for Bitcoin or that he has a novel and interesting method of pest management. Here's a fun twist though. Buffett's biting remarks have significantly decreased over the past several years, leaving his position on Bitcoin as vague as possible. It's as though his concepts washed away with his socks and vanished forever. The ghostly quiet that formerly filled the space where the wise words used to flow is now louder than a poor choice on who wants to be a millionaire. His no-comment face seems to signify more than meets the eye. It's like he's the sneaky ninja who has mysteriously disappeared in the smoky chaos, leaving us in an anticipatory silence. This silence might say, hey, I might get a Bitcoin tattoo eventually. Or could mean, I'm just tired of repeating myself. So what's the deal with Buffett and Bitcoin? Is his silence a sign of grudging acceptance or a secret love affair under wraps? The jury's out and our noses are twitching with speculation. Instead of a resounding endorsement, his silence feels more like a relaxed, 
grab some popcorn. Let's see what happens vibe. While we crave more buffetisms about Bitcoin, remember, it's called cryptocurrency for a reason. The man's entitled to keep his thoughts under lock and key. But here's the thing. This silence speaks volume. It fuels the fire of intrigue, turning Buffett into a financial enigma. Is he waiting for the right moment to pounce? Or is he simply content to watch the crypto roller coaster from the sidelines? Only time will tell. Now, I'm not a professional crypto weatherman like some internet gurus. But industry analysts frothing with anticipation predict a potential change in Buffett's crypto rhetoric. He's not getting any younger. And let's face it, neither is the finance world with blockchain and Bitcoin revamping age-old investment rules. Following the Warren Buffett and Bitcoin drama, their story just took an unexpected turn. After years of public criticism, some financial analysts, with a hint of foresight, now paint a picture of Buffett cautiously embracing the very asset he once denounced. Imagine the legendary investor, once a vocal skeptic, warming up to Bitcoin by the proverbial fireplace in the near future. His embrace, they predict, wouldn't be a public spectacle but rather a quiet acceptance, perhaps akin to a hushed conversation in a library. Now let's go back to the present time when Warren Buffett actually invested in Nubank. Remember that Nubank is a crypto-friendly digital bank. And remember that Warren Buffett called Bitcoin Rad Poison Squared. Funny how he started to invest in Nubank, am I right? The logic behind Buffett's crypto-related moves could stem from his overall vision as an investor. You see, while he might reject Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, he does recognize the potential growth of digital financial services providers. It's like trying sushi for the first time. You might be skeptical, but once you get a taste, you just might come back for more. Or you know, you could still hate it. Buffett's successful investment in Nubank, despite his reservations about cryptocurrencies, reveals the skillful strategy of the Oracle of Omaha. He knows where to place his bets. And who wouldn't put money on a bank with a rocketing stock price? By investing in Nubank, a bank that facilitates crypto trading for its clients, Buffett may be sending a silent signal that he's not completely dismissing the technology behind cryptocurrencies. So what can we make of this intriguing move? Maybe, just maybe, Warren Buffett isn't as averse to cryptocurrencies as we thought. Or perhaps he simply knows how to spot a profitable investment opportunity when he sees one. Regardless of his personal feelings about crypto, there's no denying that the man's got impeccable instincts when it comes to making a bank. Time will tell what more surprises lie ahead in Warren Buffett's crypto journey. So just stay tuned for his next moves, you guys. Now, where does this lead us? It leads us to the ultimate question. To Bitcoin or not to Bitcoin? Is it better to venture out onto the rough waters of cryptocurrency or to follow the road of traditional treasure troves? You can find yourself either riding a wave of digital joy or bailing water from a sinking cybership if old Warren's warnings don't discourage you and the siren song of Satoshi's brainchild is too irresistible. Whether it is a miracle or a mistake, Bitcoin is still the talk of the town and the market's darling at the end of the day. And keep in mind, in the vast casino of investing, Bitcoin is that mysterious slot machine that everyone wants to play. Even though Mr. Buffett, the house, says the prize is only a pipe dream. Well, that's everything. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our following videos.